last night was a very long night. I got in at about 2.30 in the morning. Man, it was a long drive. But today, we're gonna go out. I still haven't unpacked the car. I still got a whole lot of stuff in here. I still have to clean it out today. But I thought I'd service it just before the track event tomorrow. Make sure she's in tip top shape. Also uh, clean out the oil catch can because I haven't actually checked it since I first got on the 85 and that was around about a month ago. So we'll check that today. Um, but yeah, first of all, we have to actually go get some E85, so we're heading out right now to go to United Servo to go grab and fill up some jerry cans of E85, so that way on my way home, hopefully I should be able to fill up with the beautiful corn juice, and then we'll be smelling and making some decent power again. So anyway guys, to get some fuel, let's go to Sarah's work, because she ended up taking my oil, and I needed it for when I service my car. Um, but no, we'll, uh, we'll do a little bit of driving around, get rid of this 98 the system, and then uh, we'll go from there. By the way, if you guys remember um, the hint that I was putting in the background of all my videos in regards to what car I was getting a few weeks ago, this was in the background of all the videos. I just left it sitting there. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Radio, so uh, this is long overdue. I've got to service the Falcon today before the track event tomorrow. I've also picked up some E85. Um, so yeah, it's got a little bit left in the tank, but I think tonight what we'll do, we'll start uh, by driving out to, well, I'm gonna go get Taco Bell for dinner. I have about four, 20 more Ks left that I need to get out of the tank, so that should be a perfect drive down there. That's no worries at all. Um, but yeah, what to do now, service the car. We'll jack it up, do everything else as well. Um, I was supposed to service the car before I did the tune, but I knew that I was going to be going down to New South Wales and I knew it wasn't going to be under extreme load, so just cruising at 100 shouldn't be too bad. Um, I'm about a thousand Ks over, so I think it's about 6,000 Ks since I last serviced it. So long overdue, as I said, we'll quickly do that now. Picked up some uh, New Orleans 10W40, I got some fresh stuff in here as well, so I should have enough and plenty of that to do that. New uh, filter. And, uh, yeah. So, gonna make sure we definitely use some of this to make my car smell absolutely insane. Tomorrow, quickly open this. We still have about 30 Ks left in the tank. I think it's around about, I actually think it's a little bit less than last time to be honest because uh, obviously 30 Ks of the 85 versus 30 Ks in a tank uh, on 98 is completely different. Because the Ks have increased so much with the 98, I honestly think that we would be uh, filling up the tank like as it's a lot less now if you guys kind of get me so I reckon um, I'm gonna still try and aim below that 20k mark in the range but uh, yeah honestly that should be sweet um, yeah gonna quickly fill oh, this stuff smells so good this is candy e85 additive this smells honestly so insane so about three capfuls of that and should be sweet radio now so you guys can't see me but I'm about to wash the car of course it it's actually looking pretty good, but yeah, definitely it's a little bit of a clean. Just from that whole highway driving thing yesterday, it really takes it out of the car. It's all up here, it's all got stuff on it, and just, yeah, wheels aren't looking too great. So I'll quickly give it a bit of a polish up. Plus, engine bay is looking atrocious, so we'll get to that today too. All right, let's get into it. Right, yeah, boys. So, oh, and girls, if you're watching this, the one percent of you girls that are watching this, we finished the car. She's looking all nice and pretty, as you can see. She's got a nice little shine to it and everything. So, doing the little uh, lap labs, the lap labs. There you go. So, she's looking all good. I'm ready for tomorrow morning. Now, what to do? Put the jack in. I'm also going to take the tires 
and uh, set them up ready for tomorrow as well. Plus, I've also got to fill the car with the 85. Um, so whether I do that now or whether I do it tomorrow morning, I'm not quite sure. Praying to God tomorrow goes well because uh, if you guys remember the last track day we did, uh, I didn't really have much of a play in full boost, um, which is making 21 PSI, 620 horsepower on E85, simply because it was breaking up a little bit. Um, I've tried to, well, the only thing I've really tried so far is uh, changing the plugs. Whether that's going to make a difference, I'm not quite sure. I'll figure that out tomorrow. Um, if it's not that, then I don't know. I'm kind of lost. I might go back to a... But yeah, I'm sure she'll be fine. Uh, anyway guys, in other news, um, if you guys remember with the New South Wales trip, we caught it with a bloke called Glenn. Now Glenn is the one that gave me the BA Falcon, which is absolutely amazing. Hopefully we're going to get that very, very soon. But whilst I was down there, he also had a set of Brembos there. And I couldn't pass up the offer to get a set of cheap Brembos. So sitting down here, right here, is a set of four pot Brembos off an old police car, which is sick. So he took these off a Mark II, I think a Swift Green Mark II police car. And yeah, it's got the PBR Upgrade Territory rear brakes, which I don't need, however, are for sale if you guys want to inbox me on Instagram. But it's also got the four pot front brakes and also the three, uh, I believe they're 355 mil discs. And these look like they're the sort of Kangaroo Paw or the DBA T2 or something along those lines. I'm not quite sure exactly what they are, but they look sick. And I'm also going to see a VMAX can send out a set of uh, brake pads as well, along with some yellow stuff pads because I really like this setup. Um, it is a little bit squealy, but on the on the track it breaks amazingly so that's going to make a huge difference to this car it's going to look sick i'm still not quite sure exactly what color i need to paint them of course being a zach baldy video we need to paint the calipers something so whether i keep them red to match the wheels or whether i leave them in the gold like it has it at the moment even though the gold's a little bit weird there you go that gold there it does look really sick but i'm not quite sure exactly what i want to do just yet so yes color suggestions down in the comments oh, tomorrow's going to be a sick video Anyway, later on tonight, we're actually going to be catching up with Tom and Ashley. Now, if you guys remember them as well, the ones we went up and went to go pick up the R33 with, plus the one that owns the five or the 400 horsepower R34. We're going to be going out to QR with them tomorrow morning, and so they're actually coming to stay the night tonight. So whether I pick up the camera and film with them, I'm not quite sure, but we're going to go to Taco Bell, because you guys will know I love Taco Bell. So, yeah. And then I'm going to sleep. I'm very tired. Very tired. Oh, and also guys, I don't remember if I showed you guys this at all whatsoever, but Bear Will from Midnight Collective down in Newcastle, the one that did all those photos you would have seen on the Facebook page and also over my Instagram page as well, also gave me this sick banner and he said, hey man, can you put this on the skyline? I'm like, hell yeah, I reckon. She got this. Holy. You guys can't really see it that well, but uh, that looks sick. It says Midnight Collective on it. And I'm pretty sure the Japanese underneath it or something along the lines of um, come for the cars, stay for the people, which I really actually like that sort of little bit of a Japanese slogan through it as well. Really, really cool. But I think it makes the skyline look sick and it's actually not too low as well. Like it actually finishes before the bottom of the uh, sun, before the bottom of the rear vision mirror. So it actually looks really, really cool. I actually really like it. I dig it. By the way, guys, what do you reckon? Do you guys reckon I should make some, like, Barrow of the World or, like, even, like, Zach Baldy banners and stuff like that? I know Max runs one. The Urban Disturbance is one made by Aiden, and it is sick. I don't currently run run on the Falcon. I just personally on the Falcon. It's just, I don't know. They look really, they have to be really big to sort of look good. But on the Skyline, it looks sick. It's really thin. It's all nice and neat. It's got, like, a matte black back with a, uh, with a white riding. It actually looks really sick. I love it. Skyline's so sick. Now I spent a little bit longer on the Falcon tonight simply because unfortunately after I washed it and everything checked oil again I realized that I'd overfilled the car with oil. So I ended up scanning it out, dropping a little bit of oil out of it, making an absolute mess once again but I managed to fix it. It was like, it's probably a good two centimeters above the uh, the fill thing. You, you guys would have seen when I was filling it up. I used like a whole bunch of sort of things because I had a whole lot of just oil left over. So I just tried to add them all together. I think I filled it like seven liters and it should be like 6.8 or 6.7. So anyway, I managed to drain about 500 mil out. So now it's between the 6.5, 6.8, which I'm supposed to be at. So that's all sick. Ready for tomorrow's track event. I'm gonna recheck that again in the morning once that dipstick sort of, once all the oil sort of drips down, I can check it again. But at, but at this point, looks sick. Um, yeah, I'm buggered. I'm happy the car's all fresh.